So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and if you want to know how to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video now open the cloud console incognito window now if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password check the lab instructions for it now here we'll get one pop-up like this you have to click on i understand and another pop-up if you get you have to just click on i agree and agree and continue now the next step is that we are activating the cloud shell so let me show you how to activate just the cloud click shell click on the button this button you have to click and the cloud shell session will start activating so basically here also you have to just click on continue and authorize yourself and don't worry we'll cover the lab with very easily and you'll be able to get the score without any issue so let's start and meanwhile if you haven't checked the playlist do check the playlist and for skill badges do check the description box of this video now let's start so first of all let me increase the font size okay let me increase the font size now here basically you have to come to task number one we are setting the environment so first thing is that we will set the project id and then hit enter now the next step is that we will be setting the region so set it like this and here we'll enable the secret manager apis so just enable the api it will take few seconds so wait for it now once you have enabled it you have to just create a secret so just run this command basically we are creating a secret which we'll be using so here after that if you want to view that you can just run this command So here you can see it has been loaded. Now here we have to create the app.py file. So how you will create? You must be knowing the nano editor. Yes. So type nano space the file name and then paste the content over here and just use control X, Y and then hit enter to save the file. Now once you have saved the file, you have to just add a requirement.txt file also. So just copy the name come over here type nano space file name and then hit enter now you have to paste this one thing paste over here and control x y and then hit enter okay so basically now here we have to create one docker file also okay so copy the name come to the cloud shell session type nano space the file name and then hit enter now again paste the entire content and to save control x y and then hit enter now we have saved it now we have to run the initiate the artifact registry now one more thing you can see here we got 100 out of 100 so if you are able to see the score you can definitely end the lab and if you want to proceed your learning you can proceed it basically i wanted to say if you have got the score you can end the lab you'll get the checkbox on the lab and you will get the badge if you completed the remaining labs now if you want to explore just run the next command like this just keep running each command if you want to continue and in case you haven't got the score chances are there you may get the score chances are also there you may not get the score so that's why i am uploading complete tutorial so that anyone who faces any issue gets resolved automatically now the next step is that we'll move forward to the lab instruction and run the another command which command the run command so here to exit use the control c We'll run the next command it is basically the deploy command first we'll push the repository okay first we'll push the repository and then we'll run the cloud shell basically the cloud run command to create a cloud run function so just wait for some time so finally this is also done now the next step is that we have to run a cloud run function command okay you have to run the cloud run function command so come back again to the lab instruction and just run this command first we will set the permission okay so first we are setting the permissions and then we will add the permissions first we have to create a service account then we have to add a permission then we have to run the cloud run function account okay sorry oh, sorry i hope you understood let me simplify first we ran the 
im command then we added the im permission then we are running the cloud run function command i hope it clears so once it's done we'll be done with the lab we were already done but still i have showed complete play pathway now for the other remaining labs you can check the playlist and that's how we completed this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you have a great day ahead